Hello, 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 and today in this video, I'm going to give you five travel tips for coming to the UK. So let's get started. Tip number one, the weather is unpredictable. In one day, it could be pissing it down with rain, be sunny, be windy, be cloudy, and even have a bit of snow. I'm serious, I'm not even lying. You could experience four seasons in one day, especially during March and April. Even this May, the weather was pretty damn crazy. It rained in the morning, snowed a little bit in the afternoon, and then was sunny for the rest of the day. Like I said, the weather is crazy and unpredictable. So if you're coming to the UK, be prepared and dress appropriately. Tip number two, remember to look right. 34% of the world population drive on the left-hand side of the road and the UK is one of them. So if you don't want to be killed, please remember to look right when crossing the road. Well, actually, look both ways because I don't want anyone to be killed. But please take note that we do drive on the left-hand side. Tip number three, remember your PSTs, your please, sorries and thank yous. We British people like to say please, sorry and thank you a lot. In fact, we pretty much say please, sorry or thank you for practically everything, especially in restaurants. Excuse me, please. Could I have some water, please? Could you pass me the salt, please? Please could I have this and this and this, please. When you want someone to do something for you or give you something, you always say please. And if someone has ever done this request for you, you have to say thank you in return. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We also say sorry a lot and we use it for many different situations. For example, when you accidentally bump into someone. Sorry. Or when someone accidentally bumps into you. Sorry. Or when you can't hear what someone said. Sorry. We even say sorry when we're not really sorry. Are you guys in the line here? Yes, we are. Sorry. British people have a stereotype of being overly polite because we say please, sorry and thank you a lot. But let me actually tell you a secret. Sometimes we say it and we don't even mean it. Sometimes it's just a way to hide our rudeness of what we really want to say. In fact, there are lots of hidden meanings behind what British people say and what they actually mean. For example, Someone could say, excuse me, sorry, is anyone sitting here? But what they really actually mean is, move bitch, I'm sitting here, yeah, get out of my way, yeah, you got like three seconds to move before I end you, yeah, I wanna sit here whether you like it or not, so move. Move bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. This is just one example, there are so many other examples, and maybe I'll tell you guys about this in uh, another video, another time. Tip number four, if you're traveling around London for a few days, I recommend purchasing an Oyster card. An Oyster card is a pay-as-you-go transportation card that can be used on buses, trains and the tube in London. It will save you more money compared to if you bought a day travel card or if you bought single tickets. Oh, by the way, if you're using the Oyster on the bus, you only need to tap once. You don't need to tap again when you leave the bus. If you're planning to visit areas out of London, traveling around UK by train can be quite expensive. But if you're aged between 16 to 25 years old, you can buy a young person's rail card. This is an annual rail card and right now it costs £30 a year and it gives you 33% off your rail fares. This is a good savings card if you're planning to visit many places outside of London. The National Rail website is also a good website to go on to find out your travel fares and times and sometimes they even have cheaper fare deals if you book in advance, so check this website out. Also, if you have a young person's rail card, you can have it linked to your Oyster card so that you will also get 33% off discount on pay-as-you-go fares on the tube, but this is for off-peak hours only. And off-peak hours is any time between 9.30am to 4pm and any time after 7pm between Monday to Friday and any time during the weekends. If you're over 25 and travelling in a pair, there's also some discount for you as well. So you can purchase the Two Together Rail Card, which gives you 33% discount for two named adults when travelling together by train. So those are some discount tips. Tip number five, get out of London. If you're only in the UK for a few days, then London pretty much covers everything you will need to see. However, the UK is more than just London and a city is to a city. If you want to get a better feel of UK life, get out of London and visit other cities. And you can also use this opportunity to use these rail cards so you can get good discounts. You can also get a Brit Rail Pass, which gives you unlimited travel across certain parts of the UK for a certain number of days at a certain price. I'm not really familiar with this because it's only eligible for non-UK citizens, but check this out and calculate whether it is something you want to do and whether it's something you want. And those are my five tips for traveling to the UK. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer you. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.